What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And in my previous video on this 1960 Grumman Olsen curbside, you saw where I got this thing running for the first time in 29 years, and it actually ran pretty good. So I proceeded to order all the parts that we needed, the hoses, the belts, the tune-up parts, the brake parts, everything we needed to get this thing back on the road for the first time in 30 years. And after a few days, our parts finally came in, and now it's time to install them. Here are the parts that I ordered, and these are the typical parts that you need to change after any vehicle has been sitting any length of time so we have our v-belt over there we have an upper and lower radiator hose we have a thermostat we have a radiator cap we have spark plug wires a distributor cap a rotor button points and we have spark plugs so with all this stuff this will freshen that engine right up now all the rest of the new parts that I ordered are now installed. As you can see, we have new radiator hoses. We have a new radiator cap. We have a new thermostat and a thermostat gasket. And we have a new belt. And now that I got fresh cooling in this thing, I got the battery hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and start this thing up and let it run for a few minutes. <laughs> And that rattle noise is the valve cover. I need to put the bolts back in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thing run for a little bit, get the operating temperature, check to make sure we don't have any kind of leaks anywhere, and uh, just see how well this thing runs. Once it gets to operating temperature or close, make sure the thermostat's opening, and just do an all-around visual check. As you can see, this thing actually idles pretty well, and it actually does take fuel pretty good too. So that's always a good sign. Nice temperature for a cylinder head there. Water temperature looks good. Looks like the thermostat just opened. That's a good sign. Now it looks like the gauges are working and this thing is charging. It does have a generator on it and that's working so that's always a good thing. So I'm pretty impressed with this thing so far and uh, we'll go ahead and shut this thing off and let it cool down. Well it may be hard to see right there but you can see that wetness. That's definitely the water pump leaking. And I'm going to have to replace that, which means this radiator has to come out. That's a little bit extra work that I didn't plan on doing. But with something that's been sitting this long and you don't know anything about it, it's just one of those things you have to deal with. Just as I thought, the water pump is definitely the problem. Now the shaft is pretty good, it's pretty tight, uh, but you can see a little bit of wetness there, and you can definitely see where it's been weeping out of the holes there, and that's not good. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take this off because we can't go down to the auto parts store and get one of these things. You just have to order one, that's just the way it is with this thing being so old. But we're gonna go ahead and get this one off so when we get the new one in, we can go ahead and get it on and get all this stuff put back together. Well, the old water pump is out and everything's all cleaned up. Now we must play the waiting game, which is pretty typical for right about now. Anytime you're trying to order parts, it's just taking forever to get stuff. So until we get that part in, we're gonna move on and we're gonna concentrate on the brakes. And I have right here a delivery I just got. And this is all the pieces to redo all the hydraulic parts in the braking system. So while we're waiting for that water pump, we're just going to go ahead and get all this stuff squared away.
brakes are all back together and these were a little harder than what I thought they were going to be. It wasn't too bad, but I wasn't expecting to have to pull this hub off just to get the wheel cylinder out. But you can see we got the new line. We got the new wheel cylinder. And the shoes looked really good like they had recently been replaced, which, you know, probably was 30 years ago. But they didn't look like they had any kind of wear. Now, normally I would have took all this stuff down. I would have cleaned it all up really good. I would have replaced the shoes. I would have probably turned the drum. Uh, but... I am restoring brake function I'm not restoring the brakes so everything looked pretty good and this should function as it should and the only thing left to do is of course to bleed this out and adjust the shoes and I'm gonna do that after we get all the brakes on every wheel squared away both sides squared away and I'm back here in the back working now so this is a heavy-duty rear end and to change brakes on this thing you need to pull the axle which you got a seal here you got a nut on the inside here you need to take out then you can pull this whole drum assembly off it's quite a bit of work and judging by the way the front brakes look I think this will be all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bleed these out and if I can get these things to bleed out and they don't have any problems then we're probably just gonna roll with it back on the inside we have here we have our new master cylinder and I've already transferred over that joint right there from the old one and I've got the old one off as you can see now it bolts right here and this is uh, your connector right here where your lines go in we need to bench bleed that thing and then we can get it on here so that's really where we're at right now we're going to try to get some of that stuff squared away while I've been making great progress on this project, ordering parts has been a definite setback. So until next time when we get that water pump in and we finish up the brakes, I would like to say thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all my other videos on my other projects. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button, click the bell so you'll get the notification. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah.